So one of the things that you do periodically when you own one of these old Mopars with a slant six in it previous to about 1980 is you adjust the valve last. These, have, these cars have solid lifters in them, which means that the lifter is just a solid chunk of metal. It does not compress. So there has to be what's called a little bit of lash in it in the system to keep it from holding the valves open too far or at all. So on these, you set the exhaust valves to 20 thousandths hot and the intake valves to 20 thousandths hot. I'm sorry, 10 thousandths. I was hearing this dog barking back behind me again, of course. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Just ran the valves on it. I just use a set of filler gauges. And I idled the engine down as far as I can. And it really doesn't cause any problems. It doesn't really sling any oil out or anything. I use a, uh, here it is. Use a little breaker bar, turn it back and forth so I don't have to switch a ratchet to the 3 8 <laughs> excuse me, socket on it. And just run them until they're in sync, uh, set where they're supposed to be set. So that's just part of what you do. Probably about every 20,000 miles or so, pop the valve cover off and take care of it. They sound pretty good. You want to make sure that you do not tighten the exhaust valves too tight because that'll hang them open. And not only will the engine run rough, especially like at idle, but it will burn the valve because the valve has to seat on the valve seat in the head to transfer the heat away from the exhaust valve, otherwise it'll overheat. So this thing is out on just smooth as silk pretty much. If you want a little bit more detail about this, you can look on YouTube here and there's several instructional videos that shows how it's done. But one thing to remember is if you ever hear an Slant 6 making this noise and you know that it's a solid lifter or you don't know, uh, find out because you know, you don't want to mistakenly go into one of these and tighten these slit, these rock arms down that it all quiets down because then you're going to blow the thing up. So if you look, under, look at this, it's got the adjusters on each of these. That means it's definitely 100% a solid lifter engine. So uh, the later ones after about somewhere around 1980 went to hydraulic lifters. You don't have to fool with this. So anyway, a little heads up for you. Have a good one.